Okay, welcome back. In the last video, we put Mr. Donatello in the closet and we set him up on a timer so that every three seconds he actually said something, uh, called out to Sammy from the, uh, from the closet um, saying, Sammy, get me out of here. Uh, what we want to do in this video is, is expand on that a little bit. Um, it would be nice if Mr. Donatello sort of randomized the message that he said because if he says the same thing every single time that that sort of gets old to the player so it'd be nice if, if he had a selection of uh, things to say and then every uh, on, on every timer he just ran the, the AGS would randomly choose which one he, he said so let's see if we can set that up the way the way that we would do that I'm going to go to the room script and this is the repeatedly execute function that we had defined uh, in the last video and this one just said if the timer has expired have Donatello, Mr. Donatello say in the background, Sammy get me out of here, and then reset the timer. Well, what we want to do now is actually um, create what's called a random, uh, a random integer. Well, the way that we do that is, first of all, we have to define what's called an in integer in the game. It's just a variable in the game. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You say int space, and then give it the name of the variable. In this case, I'll say i for the variable name, and then a semicolon. And what this does is this just basically um, tells AGS that, hey, I'm defining a variable here, which is just a, a, a named place that I can store an integer. Int stands for integer, and an integer is just a, a, a whole number, a counting number. So basically I'm setting up a, a variable here. Well now, in this um, inside of here where we're checking to see whether the timer has expired, I can set i to something. So I'm going to set i equals and there's a function called random. This generates a random number. In this case, uh, in, in the actual Sammy's Quest game, um, I think Mr. Donatello could choose any one of ten different um, things to say. But in this one, um, we'll just set him up with three different things to say. Um, so, the what it want what random wants is the maximum number that the random number can generate, and that will go from zero to whatever that max is. So, if we want three different possible numbers to come out of this. 0, 1, and 2. Those are the three numbers. So the maximum number we want random to be able to return is 2. So again, that will that will generate a random number between 0 and 2. 0, 1, or 2. Now all we have to do is check to see whether or not uh, what, what value that random number is and assign a different message to each one of those three possible values. Here we'll use an if statement to check the value of i. So we can say if i equals zero. Now notice that I put two equal signs here and just one up here. The reason is is because here we're testing, we're checking to see whether or not i is equal to zero. We're not assigning zero to i, we're just checking to see if i is equal to zero. Whereas up here we were actually assigning this random number to i. So if you're assigning a value into the variable, you use one equal sign. If you're just checking the value, you use two equal signs. So it's a little confusing at first, but uh, but after you've done it a couple times, you'll get you, you get the hang of it. Um, so if i equals zero, then have have Donatello say a fir the first message. I'm going to switch over to another document that I have open, and these are the three messages that I want uh, Mr. Donatello to say. The first one is um, he's in the bathroom and he, he he's in the closet and he has to go to the bathroom. So the first one is he says I shouldn't have had that big glass of water second message that he says is Sammy are you still out there and then the third message is it's kind of dark in here was that a spider so these are actually three messages from the game itself that we used uh, like I say Mr. Donatello actually had ten um, but just for the sake of trying to cut the, the length of this video down I just chose three just just to give the general idea um, so I'm gonna take this first this first message here and I'm just gonna copy it so I don't have to type it go back into AGS and then I'm gonna say uh, if I equals zero which is one of the three possible values then have Donatello say background and then just paste in that that string that I just copied from the other from textpad and the other applicate the other application so on if I is zero he's gonna say I shouldn't have had that big glass of water now if I is one Donatello.say background. 
and go back into TextPad, take the second one. Sammy, are you still out there? Copy that, paste that into here. And then finally, the third one, if i equals 2, see Donatello dot say background. The third message, let me switch over, grab this value, copy, and paste. And now, we don't need this message here that we had put in the previous video, so I'm just going to delete that, that line out. We don't need that one anymore, but we still need the timer reset to uh, after he says what he's going to say. Now there's one more thing that I'm going to say about this before I run the game, and that is these three if statements. This will work just like I have it here. If i equals zero, say this message. If the i equals zero, if i equals one, then say this message. And if i equals two, then say this one. Uh, keep in mind that i is the random number that we assign from zero to two. This will work just like it is. However, it's a little bit more efficient, a um, little bit better, better coding. If you, if instead of saying if if if, you use what's called an else. So in other words, if i equals zero, then say this this message. But otherwise, which you could say else, if i equals one, say this message. And then finally, there's no other choice left. If i is not zero and i is not one, then i has to be two. So then we can just <coughs> replace this if i equals two with just an else. So if you think about think about it this way, if i equals zero, then say this. Otherwise, if i equals one, then say this. And then otherwise for all other cases, just say this last this last one. Uh, the last thing I want to do, well, we'll, we'll just run it this way and, and see how that works. So I'm going to click Run. Okay, and then after three seconds, he says, Sammy, are you still out there? Which is one of the three random ones. And now after another three seconds, he says, it's kind of dark in here. Was that a spider? And then he says, Sammy, are you still out there again? And then he says the third one, I shouldn't have had that big glass of water. Now you can see that these messages are going by really, really quickly. In fact, they don't even have time to, to disappear from the screen before the next one just pops right back up. So let's, um, let's fix that. I'm going to close out. Last time we had set the, the timeout value to 3 seconds. 40 times 3 is 120. Let's change that. Let's say that every 10 seconds is when Mr. Donatello says something. So 40 times 10 is 400. So let's change both of these to 400. And then let's try this again. I'm going to run the game. So now it should, we should have to wait 10 seconds before anything uh, happens. And at that point, Mr. Donatello should say something to the screen. There he goes, Sammy, are you still out there? And now it should be 10 seconds again. So it just gives the player a little bit of time to wander around, look at different things, and they're not just constantly bombarded with these messages. And there he said it again. Now he happened to say the same thing uh, again, which is fine. In this case, he's going to do that a lot because all we have are three things to choose from. So just in a, a set of random choices, he's going to choose the same thing uh, twice in a row um, often. But, if, but in the real game, like I say, we actually had 10 values. Um, so i was a random from 0 to 9 instead of 0 to 2. And then we just had 10 lines here. If i equals 0, then do this, then say this message. If I, else if i equals 1, else if i equals 2, else if i equals 3. And so all the way down to, to uh, 10 different messages that he could say. So it was very similar to this in, in the real game. And then you have a less, less chance that he'll pick the same thing more than, more than, uh, more than one, once in a row, or twice in a row, I should say. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Um, we uh, we just set we we ex sort of expanded on the idea of of the the timer that we had Mr. Donatello on, and we randomized the message that he had to say. Um, and along the way, we touched on um, a variable assignment, assigning the variable to a value, um, the random function, and then testing for um, for equality using the double equal sign. So in the next video, we will uh, create another room um, in Sammy's Quest, the um, party hall. And we will um, talk about the animating things in that room without actually creating objects to animate them using uh, what's called background animation. And then we'll link the two rooms together by, um, by letting Sammy walk from one room to the other. So join us in the next video.